Hi guys, it's Sam again with another science experiment. Um, today I'm going to try to put a pin or a needle into a balloon, a blown up balloon, without it popping on me. Um, and then if it works, I'll explain why it's worked afterwards. Um, so for this one, I've just got this little pin or needle there um, from a, a sewing kit, I imagine. Um, and just so you can see it, it is a real pin. So we all know what's going to happen, don't we? Uh, normally, when you introduce a balloon to a sharp object, it does a big pop, really, really loud, big pop. It scares everyone in the room. Um, so what I'm going to do is take another balloon, I'm going to put some sellotape on it. So what you do is you put the sellotape on, in a bit of a cross shape, like this. And then you take your needle again, and going right into the middle of the cross, you pop it in, like that, and it doesn't explode. It stays together normally. Okay, so that worked, which was a bit of a, a surprise to me, but a relief as well. Um, and the reason it worked is that um, when you blow up a balloon, you're stretching that balloon out of shape and the, the balloon, the skin of the balloon, really, really wants to go back to its original shape. Um, and so normally when you put a hole into the balloon, it does that really, really quickly and all of the air inside bursts out and it rips through the skin of the balloon um, and it makes a loud noise. But when you had the sellotape on there, um, the sellotape was holding the skin of the balloon together and in place. And so even though it really wanted to quickly deflate and go back to its original shape, it couldn't because the sellotape was holding it all in together. Um, the balloon has now gone down because there was a little hole in there um, and the air was escaping from underneath the sellotape, but it happened a lot slower than, um, than the poor old red balloon. So that's how you stick a pin into a blown up balloon without it popping. Um, yeah, see ya.